What is up, guys? And Goose here, man. And I'm coming back at you with another video. Before I get started, man, if you haven't done so, man, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and that notification bell, man. So bye week is over. The bye week is over. The Saints had their bye week last week, and uh, we're going to play some football. We got the hated Falcons coming up. The hated Falcons, yes. A rivalry that I think that the Saints and the Falcons are a very uh, underappreciated rivalry uh, in the NFL. Uh, doesn't get a lot of doesn't get a lot of no publicity as other rivalries do, <clears throat> mainly because we're just you know Saints and the Falcons haven't been good for you no know, majority of their uh, early on in their existence. Uh, they were really weren't very good. Uh, no last no last what since last since like since the two thousands. Uh, you know this, both teams have really uh, come on. Uh, the Falcons went to the Super Bowl twice, one in ninety eight, one uh, a few years ago. <clears throat> Saints went to the Super Bowl, they won. So, um, so uh, since the, since the, since both teams since both teams have gotten good, it's gotten a little bit more you know notoriety, but not as much as I think it should. Because I think it's a very uh, you know unappreciated rivalry as uh, both fan bases don't like each other, like each other's teams, I should say. Um, you know, Atlanta and New Orleans is about seven eight hour drive, depending on how fast you drive. Flight's only an hour, so it's very easy for both these fan bases to get to the other stadium. Very simple, um, you know. It's a very short drive, and of course, it's a very short flight between New Orleans and Atlanta. So, yeah, Saints come in here. But Saints come in here. What seven and one? Falcons one and seven. Both teams going in opposite directions. Atlanta had a lot of, um, you know, they had a lot of, um, you know, hope that, that this season would be would, would be a lot different. But um, for some reason, uh, you know, whether it's coaching, whether it's injuries, whether it's uh, whatnot, something's off of that football team. Uh, Personally, I think they need a new direction. I think Dan Quinn has lost that team. Uh, something, something internally is wrong with that team. For them to be one and seven, um, you know, because they they won that game against uh, Philadelphia in week two, and ever since then it's just been it's been south for them. It's been south for them. Now going on with the Saints, uh, Drew Brees goes down, and everybody says, "Oh man, Saints are about to go south." But Teddy Bridgewater writes his ship. The defense writes his ship. A lot of players uh, step up. Alvin Kamara, Michael Thomas. The defense steps up big. I mean, Lattimore, even Eli Apple. Eli Apple, I know he gets a lot of hate, but you know what? You don't. You know. You know. You know what you don't hear? You don't hear Eli Apple's name called that much on Sundays. That's a good thing. If you don't hear your court, if you don't hear your cornerback's name called, then he's doing a good job. So, all uh, right, you don't see. His, you don't really hear his name being called that much. So the Saints were five and zero without Drew Brees. So. Uh, <clears throat> Before the week before, week before the uh, bye week, they beat the uh, the uh, Cardinals as uh, Drew Brees came back, and I thought Drew Brees, Drew Brees looked very very good uh, against uh, Arizona. But uh, this is this is Atlanta and New Orleans. These are two, like I said, these are two fan bases that don't like each other. Um, so, um, <clears throat> and usually, usually, usually this game is uh, is close, no matter what the no matter what the records are. Now Atlanta leads the series fifty two to forty eight, and it's also uh, I think there's one tie way back in 60. I think they tied. But uh, since the 2000s, the Saints uh, actually have a 24 and 14 record against against Atlanta. So uh, since the, the 2000s started, the Saints have really, uh, they've kind of owned the series, as they say. But in the 90s, the Falcons, the Falcons are 14 and 7 in the 90s. This is 70s, they were 14 and 6. In the 70s and the 90s, the Falcons owned the Saints. And the Saints were really trash in the 70s. Uh, the 90s, they were pretty much trash in the 90s because uh, Jim Moore left around 90, when did Jim Moore leave? 93, 94. So uh, Saints were really trash in the 90s. Um, in the 2000s, that's when uh, Jim Haslett came in. They won their first playoff game, but then he kind of fall, you know, fizzled out. And then Sean Payton came in 2006, and uh, you know, that's when the Saints have really, uh, uh, you know, their glory years, as they say. You know, the Saints were really uh, – were a bad, bad uh, franchise until Sean Payton came along, and uh, and it, it really the ownership kind of changed the way they think, they way they did things. Um, so it was a lot, of, a lot of a lot of things that uh, changed when uh, Sean Payton came on here. So what I think is going to happen this game, I think I think this game is going to be closer than uh, people think. Um, see, let me see what the spread is. Um, it's probably, I think it's more than ten. I think it's like twelve and something like that. Let's see. Should have had this pulled up, but I didn't. 
Yeah, Saints are favored by 13 points. It's a lot of points. See, I mean, see, you see, Matt Ryan, I saw where Matt Ryan is. Um, it's J.C. Penney's biggest sale of them all. Jeez, about that. So I saw where Matt Ryan, he didn't practice yesterday, which means nothing. Uh, today's Wednesday. Um, you know, if the, in the injury reports you have to watch for the NFL is Thursday and Friday. Those are the injury reports that you really need to pay attention to. Pay attention to. They don't practice Monday and Tuesday. That doesn't mean dilly poo. Um, but uh, so if um, I expect this, I expect this to be a close game. I don't think this game is. I mean, I just don't think the Saints are going to win this game. But more than thirteen, because this is a rivalry game. The Falcons would love nothing more than to come out here and beat the Saints in this in in the Superdome. Um, so I think it's going to be. I think the, I think the Saints are going to win. Uh, I think the Saints are going to win because the Falcons. Uh, you know, they're just. You know, they're just they're just not a good team. They're dysfunctional. Uh, their leadership is is a uh, horrible. Um, even if uh, even if Matt Ryan plays, I still think the Saints win. But I just don't think it's going to be as uh, more than thirteen. I don't think it's going to be more than thirteen points. I think it's going to be under ten, or maybe or maybe ten and under. It'll be a uh, ten and under. So they might win by they might win by eleven, ten, you know, seven, something like that. So that's just my opinion. Hope I'm wrong. Hope the Saints come out and blow them out and uh, and uh, just put uh, just put really the nails in the coffin in the Falcon season which would be wonderful. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, and uh, who dat?